Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Asa? What? What? No! Really? I think there's a lot there. One leather bag. What? Where? How did we find this? Search in YouTube, Brad. You search YouTube. How to... How to... Save a... <laughs> no. Dude, I can't believe it. Blaster just dug him up. Oh, just now. Shoot. What? Oh my gosh, are they alive or dead or... Mark, Kaleva. You know, every single day, I notice Madman has a new setup for staying out of the sun. What do you call that, Kumar? Style, style. Style, style? It's, it's a fact. Filipinos are very good at avoiding the sun. Is that, is that fair to say? I don't want to stereotype, but yeah. Confirmed by this Filipino, who's now becoming Canadian. <laughs> I think because... I am an Arthra. <laughs> What's an Arthra? What's it? You are the trigger of Arthra. Oh, arthritis. Oh, oh so... I, I snapped my... I, I want to confirm something. Last time we cooked this, uh, I said we were joking around about arthritis, but then I got a bunch of comments that Mongo has oh, nothing okay. to do. Can you open this nothing up, bro? Can you, can you open this up? You can't. You can't? No, not yet. Okay, we can't. I tried this. Yes. It's not because of Mongo. Beans. Is Mongo it? Mongo beans. I don't know, the, the comment section is going to judge you. Yeah. Let us know if Mongo or any beans have anything to do with arthritis. Because I don't know, there's this joke around the Philippines. They're not joke. It's true. Always... It's... <laughs> it's true. Any what? beans can make your arthritis, can worsen your arthritis. Also salt bread, bulad. Hey, let me say. Oh, oh I love it. Mongo. I found out that Mongo is in high demand. <laughs> Look, that one and this yeah. one. The best combo. Dude, the best. <laughs> Delice? Oh, salt. What's this? What's Ibar next to it? What's Ibar this clam. for? Huh? Is this sour salad? Ginamus. Ginamus? Oh. But it looks like clams. That's clam ginamus. That's right. Oh, really? Oh. Clam ginamus. Delice. And a whole bowl of beans. The best. Oh, this is exciting, yes. Before we eat the mongo, which is still being finished by Jundi, we have the kahoi. Right there. That is gonna be up there. Kumar's talking to engineer Kim Poi. We're finally going to start the railings next week. We're going to start, no, so good? Yes. Jundi, what do you actually put in your mongo? You just boiled the beans and then you added... You saute your spices. Yeah. While the mongo is boiling, when it's soft already, you put the spices in with the oil. What was the spices you had? This one, oh, kamatis, yeah. uh, ginger, mm -hmm. sibuyas, ahos. Okay, nice. And then you added some cabbage? Cabbage and, just you know? Sayote? Sayote. Nice. And gata. Are we going to put dilis in it? No. No, separate. Separate, separate. Okay, nice one. Special offer. You know how you make mongo non-meat free? Yeah. 
Toppings. Toppings. Selamat, Toppings, sir. sir. Selamat, sir. I don't think I don't think Mongo has to do with arthritis, man. Voila. 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 Right. Just a. Uh, mm. What it does have to do with? I don't know. It's but good, it's delicious. Really it is. No. This is classic. This is very. Some people might even call this like simple food, you know, Mongo dilis, but I think it's simply awesome. Uh, my shoulders, you can see. I'm just airing it out a bit more. I'm gonna clean it one more time, and then tomorrow. I finally get to take take the staples out. But today, it's a very hot day. I gotta go to town later. Welcome to the beach, guys. Can you guess where this is? A ginormous fishing net. Stretches all the way out to the ocean there. Voila. Voila. There's actually quite a few local styles of fishing they do here along the beach. Uh, one which you would have seen before is Isda Isda, where you run and pull a net using some uh, wooden floaters. This one, I don't know the name of it, but it's just stretching it out, letting the tide come in and out, and then checking your, your line. And I've also seen guys just go in the water and do open net, where they walk around in a circle and, uh, and try and circle or trap the fish within it. Nothing yet. Remember how yesterday I showed you a little bit of development happening down towards the barangay? Well, about a kilometer down from our place, a lot of development has already happened. Uh, I think there's one, two, three, soon to be four beach resorts, uh, three of which are already open down here. I mean, again, it's exciting for the local community and it's also very, you know, exciting for the beach because this is a huge beach with lots of potential, but again, as it gets busier, as things develop, I think everyone here in this community, including ourselves, are gonna have to be very aware of the environment around us and how we can respect it, so.
What I just showed you guys was something that's very real here at the beach. When you go in the sand during the, the sun and it's not wet, you cannot stay on it long with bare feet. It gets really, really hot here. Uh, I realized when I was in Baraka and it's really fine white sand, I think it uh, kind of reflects or doesn't uh, maintain the heat as much as compared to here in cream sand. So I could go barefoot longer there uh, than here. But again, the sand is beautiful and powdery. So you'll notice I'm just walking along the line that's still wet because it's comfortable for me. You cannot walk on there for very long. All right, go. Oh, it's gonna be. Ow, 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 Thank you, Philippines, for your many coconut trees. Just tabi apo, tabi tabi po, please don't drop a coconut on my head. Did you guys see that? Did you see the school where I started the drone and then flew all the way down, almost to where Commander Dowd's pond is? That is completely cemented and concreted now. When we first came here, that was a dirt road. I never showed you it before. It's actually been like that for months because I wanted to leave bye-bye uh, for Commander until he came back so he could show it to you first and uh, you know just talk about that area more uh, before I you know went down and showed you it. But I've been down there many times since coming back after surgery and I actually jogged to the end of the concrete road which is literally just past Commander's old house. Uh, it's three kilometers from our fence to the end of that road, so six kilometers round trip. Again, everything is changing here. Things are really booming and it's exciting for the community and it's just really a massive coast. You can see it on the drone. I, I still can't believe there's concrete there. I have a feeling in the future they might concrete all the way. This is nine kilometers the whole stretch, so. Anyways, found some shade and now I gotta figure out how to get back to the cold sand without burning my feet. I think I can do this. <laughs> it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> oh. I thought maybe I could take the power, the big branches of the coconut tree and step on them. And then I thought maybe I could just use the coconut husk and put my feet in them. Nah. Anyways, big road. Big beach, got a big walk back, 
I'll see you when I get the exercise. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Asa? What? What? No. Really? I think there's a lot of leather bag. What? Where? How did we find this? What? Is it moving? Maybe I was agoning, but agoning. Oh my gosh. Dude, how did we just find this? Where did it come from? Yeah, si Balisto, we were talking. He was like, the dog was just digging. Basic mapusa na karong gabi. No way! It was here! What? Bulasdoy was playing with it at first here. And then what the? There really is turtles! Oh, this is so sad, man! I hope. I was just about to bandage up my shoulder, then Jundi yelled at me. Bro! Bro! Is he still alive? Come here. Oh man. It's not uh does it have a smell? Oh, no. Search on YouTube, Brad! You search YouTube! How to How to save a <laughs> No Dude I can't believe it. Blaster just dug him up. Oh, just now. Shoot. What? Oh my gosh, are they alive or dead or no. No. Well, I am still trying to get my head around what just happened. That was unbelievable. It was beautiful, but it was also very stressful. If you saw, I went Facebook Live once we saw these turtles and they started coming out from the sand. Um, but they actually didn't start coming out of the sand. The reason we saw them was because dogs were starting to dig them up. And actually that first turtle that you saw me going, what's happening? And Jundee was holding was a dead turtle because a dog had just uh, disturbed it and killed it. So that's why we just went into like panic mode of get the turtles out of the sand and get them to the ocean. But if you look at the Facebook Live on my page, you notice we brought them down and we were gonna put them in the ocean, but then we took them back up uh, because we weren't sure. Um, and we were waiting for BFAR and the DNR maybe to give us advice, but then we were told yes, let them go so 
I, in the future, I'm going to write something on my Facebook page about turtle education because I need to learn more. Uh, we all need to learn more, especially now that 94 baby turtles just hatched in front of our house here in Kataeo. Uh, and imagine I'm talking earlier on the beach about, you know, things changing and things popping up and development. So, I mean, it's very, very important we understand the environment we have here too. Um, yeah, from what I've learned now through comments and messages, the best thing you can do is just allow the turtles to go and support them to go to the ocean. They need to walk themselves in print. Uh, when we put some of them in a palanga, in a container there to bring them down, the water that was put on them was salt water from the ocean. And the DNR actually came here this evening, just after my Facebook Live, and they told me, you know, if you put the wrong water on them, for example, they could go blind. They're very delicate when they're small turtles, so we were lucky that out of the 94 that came out, um, I think 83 of them went off into the ocean. Uh, we had 11 that were dead, um, unfortunately, but yeah, unbelievable. Um, if you have any education about turtles, please share them in the comments, and uh, I'm definitely going to write a post about turtles in the future so we can all get better educated because we need to be especially here now on this coast because they're here <laughs> they're, they're literally they were right there grab me man good night